Okay, y'all saw that? Bag secured. Let's get into the soap haul. Before I do, and y'all probably thinking, or y'all gonna say, damn, she excited for soaps. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I always tell people, I run through a lot of soaps. If you work in healthcare, you're gonna believe in soaps and you're gonna believe in washing your hands. And that was before the panorama. Before the panorama, I wasn't really finding soaps that didn't dry my hands out. And Bath and Body Works don't dry my hands out. So I'm gonna go hard for that particular brand of soaps any day. See down to the part-time job. We are into our paint for customer appreciation. And I love paint. Check my pink row up there. My drink of the day, that French vanilla, uh, sugar-free French vanilla cold brew from McDonald's. 99 cent for a large baby and don't get no ice. I got my own ice at home. Let's get into this. Y'all, I picked up, I bought some and then I had two guests at the store bought me some. So I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Last year around this time, I think I had a haul of 14. And that's the only time you've seen a large soap haul from me. So I can I can rock this. Y'all, leather and brandy. We have the warm leather, the aged wood, the brandy. These aesthetically pleasing. I call these the Instagram aesthetic bottles. But I had to have that because I love the candle. And then I went ahead and rocked with the cherry oud. You all, I was not going to let this pass me by. If you don't know, I like cherry scents. Hence, that's why I was running down that uh, Finery Cherry Fragrance from um, Target. Uh, Burning Cherry from KLE. I got the travel size, so I'm a fan of Cherry Scent. And then you have Green Cypress Trail. Uh, citrus, Cypress Forest, Eucalyptus, and Chill Breeze. Um, this gives me like a, like almost like a, a milder version of Mountain Teak Wood with a little bit of citrus. And then we have fall foliage, y'all. Fresh autumn leaves, misty air, and cedar wood. It's the cedar wood that's selling me in this one alone. Um, for those that don't know, cedar wood can come across very masculine, and I like that. But when you times it with other things that don't smell as manly. And then this one right here, golden citrus and vanilla. I saw this last fall and didn't even pay it no mind. Um, but it's more vanilla and orange. I get like an orange creamsicle vibe from this, so it don't hurt to have it. And then we have white orchid woods. Now this, y'all, hold on. Anytime you see a woodsy something from Bath and Body Works, I've explained this several times that that woodsy, AKA some type of linen scent, okay? So with this soap, you have frosted orchids, bright bergamot, which is a citrus, times the white woods, which is a linen. When I tell you this smells like a luxury linen, like I can see this being in a bed spray, that this is the perfect, if you had a dual vanity like a his and hers, this would be perfect in the main bedroom. This just gives me main bedroom, new house vibes, who this? Like, you know what I'm saying? You can put teakwood on his side, but you put this in your side. And even like me with the automated, if I had a dual vanity, I would still put two automated soap pumps so he can have his pick and I can have my pick. Speaking of pick, do people really come in the store and get picky on what scents they buy? Absolutely. So with the try me's, I always say use the try me, crack the lid open on the try me. Therefore, you don't crack the lid on your fresh soap to start your oxidation process on your soaps. But I never really was a soap picky person. Y'all, I wash my hand a couple of times and keep on going. But sometimes I do get a little soap picky and I like this one. So I was literally helping somebody in the store and she was like, I know, I seem indecisive, I'm picky, I'm sorry, it's your money. If you're so picky, body care picky, it's your money. You know, I may not be, but it's your money. Speaking of that luxe packaging, I had to have the coffee and whiskey because I'm a big fan of the candle. Um, bowl Irish whiskey, a splash of vanilla, a hint of coffee. Uh, them, them, this, this little single wick in this one, y'all, throws back here in this room like crazy and i had to have a ghoul friend night i didn't get one last halloween i had one like halloween 2021 because i saw a daily vlog of mine on uh tiktok and i hadn't bought halloween soap since 2021 
that's just how time flies. But you know, that's that spine chilling peony citrus dark strawberry, aka this is that black cherry Merlot base. You can't go wrong with that. And then we have Earl Grey tea and mint. Mm, newbie. The jasmine green tea vibe, this kind of gives you that because you have white jasmine and tea, but you have more of a mint tea. I get more of a steep black tea than a bright pungent citrus green tea. So they are a little bit different. Again, on the hands, will it really matter? Um, I would say if you like to whip your hands after you wash them, yes, but I'm the kind of person I'm going to slap a uh, hand cream on afterwards anyway, but it is a very, very pleasant scent. Um, step outside the box a little bit with that one. And then we have farmhouse pumpkin and spice. And I'm just, like I said, with pumpkin, it's just kind of like, sometimes you get pushed into it because so many things are going to come in pumpkin scent. Again, I said what I said. Pumpkin really reminds me of a big old squash that you cut into with no scent. That's why you always have to pair it with something else. And this has patchouli. Um, this might be the closest we get to spice pumpkin patchouli in a hand soap. So nonetheless, I got it. Heirloom pumpkin patchouli and spices aka your warm and spices could be cinnamon could be cardamom nutmeg star anise who knows a combination of all but i got one now it is giving a little country grandma house vibe but that's okay and then we got the bad boy uh the dupe to jimmy choo i want you chasing fireflies i love my signature hand soaps and body care for my ensuite and this is the golden pear jasmine bloom illuminating woods illuminating woods again that linen like is in here gotta have that and then i had to get a moonlight graveyard y'all i don't even gotta read the notes uh moss patchouli and sage comes across masculine while the candle is burning it can come across like that on your hands too but it's going to be a very earthy scent. I ain't got no issues with it. And then I got a vanilla matcha latte. Y'all know the coffee love and me had to have this. Y'all just know I had to have this. When I tell you this smells like a sweet vanilla sweet cream latte, I don't get much of the matcha note. But a sweet vanilla cream latte, I'll take it. Just like the white caramel cold brew one I have out there. These get reserved for my bedroom bathroom. And then these two soaps right here. These are the last two of the bunch. But I saved these two for last because maple drizzle warm citrus sunshine brown sugar. This is the sugar maple lane. It's on the sweet side. And I was like, ah, uh, go ahead and get it. And I'll tell you why. The same thing with the vanilla shortbread candy almond crisp. It's very sweet, right? I have some other holiday soaps in there. I have uh, like three Merry Cookies. I have um, the Strawberry Snowflake. I also have Fall, not Fallen Flurries. It was one in the blue that smelled like Fallen Flurries. I also have, well, like six or 10 Chris, no, 10 Christmas soaps in there from our MOS stash. So I grabbed these to move into December's pile because they're very sweet. Maple, I mean, maple could go in Christmas. And then this is a gourmand cherry shortbread could go for like the holiday months. And then that way to try it to believe it, soap day in November, I don't have to shop. I'm going to shop my stash and add these to the Christmas pile. Mm. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. I'm not finished. I'm gonna bring y'all some more freebies. Um. Wallflower, Autumn Woods and Spice Pumpkin Patchouli. This will probably be, well, Spice Pumpkin Patchouli, I'm pretty sure. I got eight Wallflower plugs. I do four and four. I'm probably going to do four Spice Pumpkin Patchouli and four White Pumpkin to sweeten it up. And then the Autumn Woods, I'm going to do four Autumn Woods and four Walk in the Woods. So I already know my blends with those. But I had some rewards flashing at me. So moonlit graveyard in the single had to have it again patchouli sage moss uh ghoul friend night the black cherry mellow base with the peony in the single had to have it and against my better judgment i picked up um pumpkin spice latte 
I got one, I had two. I have one burning now paired with coffee whiskey. Pumpkin spice latte to me never gives me what it said it's going to give. I'm a coffee lover, right? Um, pumpkin spice latte to me, some years you have more coffee, some years you get more pumpkin. It is what it is, but nonetheless, they're single wicks and they'll make a good gift for somebody if I don't burn it. So that's my haul. That's my excited hand soap haul. Like, Again, I get stoked about soaps and probably, you know why too? Because I get satisfaction from finishing products. And January, I had 90 something soaps and this is August. And in my soap closet, I'm down to 41. Now, when I say down to 41, that still sounds like a lot. Yes, but I had 90 something. And I only do a soap haul once a year, which I'm a fall girl. Fly girl follows upon us. And I'm going to see y'all on the next video. Bye.